I would describe to them as this is by far the best passing game you guys have faced. No question. I think a couple of things. One, the receivers have such great length. I mean, they're not your 5'10", 5'9", receivers. They are six-something, and they play that way. They also, the one thing that sticks out to me watching them on film that they do a great job of is when the ball is in their area, they catch it, they secure it. You see a lot of great wide receivers that they will make a catch and then the next one will come off their fingertips. And I think, I've always said that, that's one thing that our guys, our wide receivers, I think do a great job of too. When the ball's close to them, they catch it. You see a lot of really good receivers in the NFL and college everywhere where all of a sudden the ball's right there and they'll drop it. Next one, they'll make a phenomenal catch. Well, Clemson's guys seem like they make a lot more good catches or securing it than, than some teams we play. And they've done this. I mean, this is what they do. They, that's why they're one of the best, maybe the best program in college football right now. But the ability that you guys have defensively with both the scheme but with the players you put out there who can defend, how would you describe with Jeff and Sean and Damon and Jordan and the guys in your secondary your ability to match up with a passing game like this? I mean, most teams probably right. sometimes don't have much of a chance to get a passing game like this, but you guys have some guys back there. And that, that's, that's our game plan. That's what we feel. I mean, we feel that we have the ability to be able to play a single high and at the same time go, be able to go two, two back. You know, So a lot of teams can't ever even go a single high because they don't have that. And I think we do. And the, the ability that you can go single high because you believe in your corner That's so right. much. That's right. And it, along with that goes the pass rush. Yep. I mean, no corner, no matter what, can cover a great wide receiver for a long period of time. And they're going to win their share. You know, but you have to have the ability to get to the quarterback. And when that happens, then the combination of both. Uh, and, and an obvious, again, a stupid question, and I just asked Chase the same thing, but when you have a pass rusher like that against a great passing game like this, if Chase is great in this game, and then whether that's getting sacks or opening opportunities for your other guys, how much of, a, of an impact can a guy like Chase Young have on a game against a passing game like this? And that's why if you look in the NFL, who are the top draft guys, pass rushers? they changed the game. I mean, I'll say it again, you can you can take the very best corners and put them against the very best wide receivers and each will win their share. Okay, so that's dead even going out there. Now, what changes that? Well, a guy like Chase Young, either he gets there or has great ability to impact the throw or his buddies playing next to him get there because they're gonna do something with him. So, I mean, you gotta have both. You gotta have both. And then, and then at the same time, you better be able to stop the run when you're doing it, or the team will just say, okay, fine, you're gonna take this away and we're gonna run it all day. I mean, there's a lot of little things that go with this. And, and uh, you know, we're very fortunate. We have a we have a tremendous group of young guys. I, I can't say it enough. I mean, our meeting room and our players, I mean, they are, they come in every day ready to go. They want to be great, and they've shown that. Uh, their character is off the charts. Uh, you don't have what you read about in today's football where guys start thinking they're better than they are because everybody there is the same way. They all have sacrificed. They all have done what Mickey Brady, our strength coach, had them do it starting in January. And that's really why they are where they are today. I mean, let's be really honest. I mean, we've got some outstanding football players, but what they bought into in January, what they've done week to week to week throughout the spring, throughout the summer, throughout the season, game by game, it's why they are who they are. And Clemson is great at what they do, but with the pass rusher like Chase and inside and in front with the guys you have in the secondary, you have a, as good of a chance as anybody out there to try to deal with the passing game like this when you have that kind of game plan and that kind of talent. That's what, that's that's what, what you're believe. thinking this that's week. That's what yeah. we, believe. we believe. We believe that every game this year. Yeah, and you've proven it every game. Yeah, okay.
Greg, has your job changed at all in the last few weeks with Jeff having to also prepare to be the head coach at Boston no, College? No, Jeff, Jeff has done a, a phenomenal job of being professional. Jeff, uh, and, and we're so proud of him, and, and it's a great it's a great future for him to be able to, to, to get his first head coaching job and everything like that. But he has been so into finishing the job he started, and that says a, that says a lot about him. This defense as a whole, just what have you seen in these bowl practices? Is there anything that you've seen these guys really progress on over the last couple of weeks? No, I mean, no. I mean, I think I, our kids, like I mentioned, they've done the same thing they have done all year. I mean, it's, you know, I haven't been in a lot of different schools in my career. I just kind of smile and I'll say something to my wife. I'll go, it, these kids are unbelievable. You know, and I noticed that in January, the first day I was there, I went in the weight room, and Mickey Marotti's the best strength coach in America, and he is working them like crazy. And they come in smiling, and they leave smiling. I said, okay, that says you a lot about these guys right now. You know, so um, it's just, it's, they're, they're just different. They're just, they're just what you hope you can coach. And that's why it's so exciting every day to go into coach. You had a uh, Brendan White make the decision to enter the transfer portal last week. Just wondering what kind of conversations did you have with him? Well, that's what, you know, and, and I wish him the best of luck. He's a tremendous young man. And, you know, sometimes when you have a different scheme, so, you know, some guys don't fit like they did before. And, uh, and he's going to be very successful, you know. And, uh, you know, we just wish him the very best. Of did the bullet position that you have him move to, did it just not quite materialize the way that you thought it would? Yeah, well, usually what happens is when you have a big, strong Sam linebacker, in passing situations, you put in an athlete that is like a strong safety. Well, if you notice, Pete Werner's had a pretty good year this year, and he's proved that he could be that guy at the same time, so you didn't get that as much. As the season went on, the same thing happened, and it just kept happening where Pete kept getting better, he kept doing it, you know, and, and I think that's really what happened. How do you express that to future recruits maybe who might project to play a similar position in terms of, you know, if they have questions about why didn't he play more? Well, you just, because you tell them this, you hope you're recruiting guys that are bullets as well as Sam's. So you say, here's what happens on past the situation. You have to be able to play man coverage. You have to be able to do this. You have to be able to do that. And the recruits that we're recruiting, I would say, would say, yes, I can do that, coach. And we go, yes, you can, and go from there. A guy like Court Williams, who you just brought in for recruiting, is he a guy you look at who could play those variety of roles? I don't, can I, can I talk about recruits? The guys who signed, yes. Okay, okay. I want to make sure I don't get in trouble here. <laughs> yes, yes, he definitely can. You know, so there's a number of them that can. Uh, I think it's, you always got to do both. I think you have to check your own tendencies, but you always want to see what they do also. You have to do both. Jeff Happ has been pulling double duty. How's he been doing handling, you know, a couple Great. of Great. Very couple professional. I mean, I'm so proud of him, and I, I wouldn't expect anything else but that by him. I mean, he, you know, it, it, was a, it was a great, great for him. Um, I know he'll do a tremendous job there, but the thing I'm so proud of him is he, he loves these players so much and he believes so much in what we've done that he is uh, going to finish the job. Greg, Jeff, 